Over the years, I have found that Bluetooth connection issues are incredibly common across the Android community. It doesn't matter, matter which OEM makes the phone, phone you're using, there's almost always going to be a compatibility issue with some obscure Bluetooth device out there. And I've even seen this happen with products from major manufacturers too, including Sonos, Bose, and JBL. So today, not only will I show you how to reset your Bluetooth connections on a Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but this feature will also reset your Wi-Fi networks as well. And I suspect there's a service handling both Bluetooth and wireless networks, so this reset option is built directly into Android. And to begin, we're going to open up the settings application, and then we're going to scroll down a little bit until you find the general management option. Now from here, we're going to scroll again until we see the reset menu. And from here, toward the bottom of the list, we have a reset Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings feature. This is basically like doing a factory data reset on your Bluetooth connections and Wi-Fi networks. So be aware that you will have to reconnect to those once this is finished. And it doesn't take too long to do either. We're going to tap on the blue reset settings button down at the bottom. And instantly, we're going to be told that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings have been reset. And that's it. This is when you're going to go in. We're going to go back into our settings and we're going to reconnect to our Wi-Fi networks. Then this is when I recommend that you test to see if we did fix the Bluetooth issues we were having. So again, we're going to go into the settings and then we're going to check out the Bluetooth section so that we can try to pair with our Bluetooth headphones, speaker, or smart display. And if you're still having Bluetooth connection or playback issues, I have a more complex troubleshooting video that I can link below. It goes over five different troubleshooting solutions that you can test out, with many of them finally being able to fix Bluetooth issues for thousands of people. And again, you'll find that link down in the video description below.